few days or past weeks, we've been blessed. We've been blessed. Certain things have, have been broken and shattered and be destroyed. Starting with Pastor uh, Sion, you know, who came in shattering and destroying strongholds that sits in family, that, that defined limitations on us, that, that put restriction on us. Those things were dealt with, and I believe that breakthrough came. And also, people have been set loose and set free to the glory of God. If you believe that, give God some amen. amen. Yes. And also came in Pastor Saki, who also brought in a powerful message. No more limits. No more stagnation. No more affliction. No more attacks by the enemy. We will not allow Pharaoh to set his system to detect or to tell us when to laugh and not when to laugh. We will not allow the system and the spirit of Pharaoh to uh, control our life. We also came through that. And today, now that we are in the land of the living, that there is no more limits, both strongholds have been broken. I want to break you away. Now we have to live our life according to the system of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, now you have to live your life according to the system of God. Oh, say it with a meaning. Now you have to live your life according to the system of the Lord. Or according to the pattern of God. Hallelujah. In the book of Exodus 25, 1 to 9. Can we open there quickly? This is what the Lord, the instruction that God gave to uh, his, his servant Moses. Moses has spent 40 days in fasting before the Lord and the Lord gave him this pattern. He gave him this detailed instruction and he said that this is what I want you to do. He also added the reason why he wants him, him to do that. So beloved, let's go there quickly. As we have landed in the land of no more limits and now we have to build our life according to the pattern, according to the system of God. Oh, your amen is sweet. Amen. amen. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel that they may bring an offering of every man that giveth willingly with his heart. Ye shall take my offering, and this is the offering which is ye shall take of them gold and silver, brass and blue, purple, scarlet and fine linen, goats, hair, and ram skin, and dyed red, budget skins, and shitting wood, oil for light, spices for anointing, and for sweet incense, arm stones, and stones to be set in the effort, and in the breastplate, and let them make me a sanctuary. I want us to pay attention. In some version it says, and let them make me a tabernacle. Verse 8, and let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. Verse 9, according to all that I have shown thee after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instru instruments thereof, even of so shall he make it. The Lord spoke to his servant Moses and said, Moses, this is what I want you to tell my children to bring. I need an offering. I want them to bring such and such things. And he detailed them and said that I want them to bring this and that. And he, he, he specifically said that let them bring it cheerfully. Let them bring it from their heart. Let them bring it. And he in verse 8, he says that that you may make me a tabernacle. That you may make me a place that I will dwell of. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, there are so many systems, there are so many patterns that are being detected to us. The world is telling us of so many systems. When we go into the world, even in the dollars that we carry, it says that in God that we trust. 
That means that we have to ask ourselves, which God are we talking about? Americans talk about in this God that we trust. Is it the financial system that they trust? Or is it the God that you and me serve that they trust? Is it the God of the Alpha and the Omega? Is it the God who delivers you? Is it the God who brought them through the Red Sea? We have to ask ourselves, which system when Americans say that in God we trust on their bill. There are so many systems. Financial system, medical system, political system. And here God has given his system or his party. And he said, Moses, speak unto my children. Let them lift an offering. And I want the offering to come out of their hearts. And I want them to bring these offerings unto me. He specifically named them. Take gold, silver, brass, and blue, purple, scarlet, and fine linen, and goat's hair, ram skins, and dye red, budget skin, shitting wood. God specifically gave this instruction. Somebody will ask, why not take but shittim wood. Shittim wood is a wood that cannot be destroyed by any termite. Shittim wood is a wood that is not, in our language, we call the soft wood, which is called wawa. It's not the wawa wood. It's a good wood when you use it, it's forever and forever. He said, tell them to bring these things. And verse 8 and 9, he says that this is why I want them to bring these things. That they may make me a tabernacle, a sanctuary, that I may dwell with them. Hallelujah. Beloved, now that we are in the land of no more limits, we have to live our life according to the pattern, according to the system of God. And if you do that, no devil, no principality, no anything of stagnation, no anything of delay shall be your portion. When we live our life according to the patent of God, we will not struggle. The Spirit of God will not struggle to come to you. God will not struggle to come and live with you. He said that that they may bring and make me a house so that I will not struggle to come to them, that I may live with them. Hallelujah. Amen. When we live our life according to the patent of God, we will not struggle. There are so many systems. There is a system of worldly wisdom. At times, it is like the philosophies or the philosophical wisdom or saying of this world is going around. At times, it seems right. It looks good. But what we have to ask ourselves is that, is that the instruction that God gave to us? God specifically spent time with him. And they say, go to my people. Tell them, why will God need a, 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 a what is it, uh, a, a ram's and also a goat's hair? But he said, listen and tell them and bring this specifically to me. My brother, my sister, if we live our life according to the pattern and the system of God, God will not struggle to come to us. Hallelujah. God will not struggle to come to you. Tell your neighbor, God will not struggle to come to you. And I want you to open to uh, Exodus 40, 33 to 35. When Moses did everything that God instructed him to do, he did everything that he instructed to do him to do. And let's see some results there. Exodus 40 33 to 35. Exodus 40 33 to 35. I want us to go there. I'm taking my time. I want us to go through these things and get it right. Now that we are in the land of no more limits. Now that certain things have been broken and shattered. Now we have to live our life according to the pattern. According to the system, we have to walk in the obedience that God has set for us. And God will not struggle to bless you. When we walk in obedience in his word, in his, in, in, in his details and his instruction 
that he has given to us, God will not struggle to bless you. Sickness cannot take your life. Delay will not be your portion. Stagnation will not be your portion. In Exodus 40, uh, 33 and 35, listen, when Moses did all this, let's see what happened. And it says that, and he read up the court, running about the tabernacle and the altar, and set up the hanging of the court gate. So Moses finished the work. He finished the work. Then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle and Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. I pray that this will be your portion. Every pattern, every detail, instruction that God has given to you, you obey it and finish and finish it very well. And the Bible says that when Moses hacking on to what the instruction that God gave to him he finished the work and finished it very well every instruction that God has given to you if you walk in that obedience ah, you will finish it and finish it well and listen the Bible says that the glory of God the cover of God the shekinah glory of God came upon the tent that the one who gave the law could not even enter the tent All through hacking into the pattern, the detailed instruction that God has given to him. And the Bible says that God did not struggle. You want the glory of God. You want the power of God. You live in obedience. You live your life according to the pattern of God. Not according to the system of this world. Not according to the wisdom of this world. The Bible says that when he did that, even he who was instructed to go and instruct them, he could not enter into the, uh, the tent, the congregation of the tent, because the power of God, the glory of God, the power of God has filled the place so much that Moses himself could not stand. I pray that will be your portion. Don't listen to the wise saying of the world. Pattern your life according to the instructions of God. God will not struggle to bless you. God will not struggle to get into your mind. Your issues will become his issues. Your cares will become his cares. Stop listening to the wisdom of this world. Stop listening to especially some of these young people and also some of us parents. Let's sit our children down. Tell them what the Lord says that they should go about their life. If they go otherwise, you have done your part. But young people, let me tell you, the Lord wants you to pattern your life according to his system and he will not struggle to bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, your aiming was good. Oh, amen. amen. Beloved, any time that we walk in that obedience, God will bless you. He will bless you beyond measures. The blessings that come from our past, the worldly things, the worldly awards cannot compete. People who want, to, who want to ask you, how did this happen? When did this happen? They have to come and see your whole show. How you have applied yourself into the principle and the system and the pattern of God. How you have all oh, acted onto the instruction of God. And the Bible says that God will not struggle to come. He said, tell them to bring all this thing cheerfully that they may make a house a tabernacle that i may dwell in and moses made sure he, he what i like is that you see you see let them give cheerfully let them bring it uh, uh, with the uh, coming out of their hearts listen we need god more than god needs us you can never outgive god 
you can never outmatch God. When God is taking something from you, he's just grabbing it and anointing it and then giving it back to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ours is to hack him onto his party. Hallelujah. I say America has written in the unknown. In God we believe. We have to ask America, which God are they saying that they believe? Is it the God that you and me believe? Who is the Alpha and the Omega? Who is the bread of life? Who is the Christo, the Messiah? Who is our deliverer? Who is our friend, the father to the fatherless? Who is our eternal God? Who is the Holy One of Israel? Is that God that they are talking about? We have to ask them. There are so many systems. Philosophical system. If you do it this way, you go crazy. Who told you? When you are confused and perplexed and don't know what to do, stick with what the Lord has instructed you. Hallelujah. Let's quickly go to First Chronicles. Another instruction to that was given. First Chronicles. 28, 9 to 12. We all know King David. King David is the one that God said that this man is a man who is after my heart. That means that this man is a man who can touch my heart. This man is a man who knows uh, what to do for, uh, uh, with my instruction and other things. David has come to the end of his life. He has come to the end of his rope. And he has to give a set of instruction to his son Solomon. And he calls Solomon and says, Hey, thou Solomon, my son, know thou the God of thy father and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord searches all hearts and understand all imagination of thought. If thou wilt seek him, he will be found of thee. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever. Take heed. Now for the Lord has chosen thee to build a house for the sanctuary. Be strong and do it. David tried and God told him that your hands are so bloody. But David, knowing that uh, as a man of God's, after God's own heart, he called his son and said, My son Solomon, if you want to be great and mighty in this land, there's a God up there who created heaven and earth. There's a God up there who watches over Israel. He neither sleep nor slumber. There's a God up there. If you serve him and serve him right, if you obey him willingly and serve him with a right mind and then listen to all this instruction that I'm giving to you, nobody can outmatch you. Nobody can beat you. Nobody, when it comes to blessing, you shall be blessed. When it comes to uh, victory, you shall be victorious. When it comes to uh, 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 finances, you shall have mighty breakthrough, break in, break out, and break forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And 11, then David gave to Solomon his son the pattern. There are so many patterns, there are so many systems. Even these days, we heard about the system of Pharaoh. Those of you who were here uh, last week, Pharaoh wants to control your financial system. He wants to control your children. He wants to tell you and massage you that as for this Christianity that you are doing it vigorously, you go crazy. He wants to tell you that your boss, your job is more than the one who gives you the strength and the breath even to go to work. So he, he gave him this instruction. He said, David gave to his to Solomon, his son, the pattern of the portion and of the houses thereof, and of the treasures thereof, and of the upper chambers thereof, and of the inner palace thereof, and of the place of mercy seat, and the pattern of that he had by the spirit. This is by the spirit, the pattern that God has imparted in him. He gave it to his son Solomon. Parents, leaders, fathers, if there's anything, a legacy that nobody can mess and take from our children, it's 
a godly legacy. It's that that cometh from above. Because all the other things will pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away. You will give your son a mansion. You will give him everything. Even give But Solomon hearkened unto the instruction of his father David. Beloved, I pray that any instruction, any pattern that God has given to you, you follow it. You follow it and it shall come to pass. He gave them, even the boy, the buildings, how he has to structure everything. He was a wise, a wise guy. He made the provision and also added the God system, God's pattern, God detailed instruction as to how the, this 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 thing is to be done. And let's go to the same Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles five thirteen and fourteen. Second Chronicles. 5, 13, and 14. I want us to take our time and go through this. Right now that we are in the land of no limits, now that, that certain things have been shattered and certain things have been broken, now that, that we have dealt with certain things that sit in the family, that that comes to destroy and every time we are in this land, we will not sit there idly. We will pattern our life according to the system of God. We will live our life in obedience of the word of God. That every blessing that God has for you, not this year, the years ahead, it shall not be delayed. It shall come into being. We are walking into a glory that we have never seen in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, your aiming was weak. Second Chronicles 5.13 it came even to pass as the trumpeters and the singers were as one. Unity. They were one. Unity in spirit. When it comes to unity, unity is not uniformity. Unity is not like UPS where we, they, they put their brown uniform on all of us. That's uniformity. But when it comes to unity, is of the spirit. That's why the Bible says that as many as are led by the spirit, they are the sons of God. We cannot unite when you are in the flesh and the other guy is in the spirit. It doesn't work that way. Unity is of the spirit. But they hacking on to the, the instruction, the system of God, the pattern of God. That, that the spirit has imparted upon David and David has imparted upon Solomon and they all follow it. And the Bible says that they were in unity. It came even to pass as the trumpeters and the singers were as one. That means they were united. To make one sound to be heard in the praising and thanking the Lord. When they lifted up their voice with the trumpeters and the cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endures forever. That then the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord. And now listen, when we do things according to the pattern of God, when we do things that God has instructed us to do, the glory of God will not struggle to come to where we are. The church is not the building that we see. The church is you. When you pattern your life according to the instructions of God, ah, the glory of God will not struggle to come to you. The Bible says that when they were in one, when they were united, the power of God, the glory of God, the power of God, upon them and it says that so 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 that the priest could not even stand to minister by the reason of the cloud beloved if you will live your life in obedience according to the word of God in this land of no limits at times you don't even need your pastor 
That's what the word is saying. The priest, they were inactive. Because when God has shown up and he's showing off, who is the priest that the all God Almighty needs? In our language, we say, the boss himself has shown up. Who else? Do you need somebody to go before God for you? The Bible says that when they listened to the son of David, Solomon, that his daddy has given him the instruction according to the pattern that God has given to him, the cloud, the glory, the cabo, the heaviness of God did not struggle to come upon the house. And those who call themselves priests, those who call themselves pastors, those who call themselves ministers, they could not minister because it was so powerful. In the life of Moses, we saw that Moses could not enter into the congregation, the tent of the congregation, the tabernacle that they have built because he has done that he was instructed to do. And when the work was finished, according to the detail and the pattern that God gave to him, he could not enter because of the glory, because of the cloud. I pray. I pray and I prophesy over your life. Ah, may you live your life according to his pattern. And may the glory of God fill your home. May it fill your, 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 your car. May it fill your bedroom. May it fill wherever you go. God says that I need this from you so that I can come and dwell among you. So when you are giving to God or God is demanding something from you, it's out of obedience. But if you hearken unto the instructions of God, oh, luck will not be your portion. I want us to know that, you know, they, were, they, they listened to what Solomon gave to them. Because it was imparted to them that this is what the Lord has said we should go. This is what the word of God is saying. That is not the system of this world. That's not the system of this financial world. That's not the system of this medical world. That's not, we, we get the facts. At times the facts are all right. Every sphere of all, every realm that you go, they have the facts. But the truth is that God is God. God is God. When it's all said and done, when all hope is gone, when all expectation is cut off, that's where he steps in. When men have reached their extremity, that's where he steps in as a God of all possibilities. All God wants to show up, my beloved. At times it's not even the way we dress and come to church. You, you pattern your life according to the instruction that He's given to you. At times we don't even have to make altar calls. When the glory of God appeared, if you are a sinner, if your last act you were cursing somebody. You were stealing somebody's this thing. If you have did something that is not right unto the Lord, the, 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 the glory of God can arrest you. When it comes, you see who you are. If you don't know, go and read Isaiah 6. Hallelujah. Yeah. They are glassy, fancy church buildings and the glory of God is known in there because they are doing their own thing they are doing their own thing so god is struggling to get there the holy spirit is struggling to get there but when we pattern our life faithfully in obedience into the instruction that god has given to you god doesn't struggle with moses 
the tent of the congregation, Moses could not enter because he did everything, did the work according to the instruction that God gave to him. With Solomon, when David called him, he did it. And God also showed up. He said, that I may come and dwell among you. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody will say, Pastor, this is an Old Testament. Thank you. Hallelujah. We are in the New Testament. Come on, shift. Hallelujah. Tell your brother, uh, your sister that we are shifting to the New Testament. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, say it properly. Amen. The New Testament is better. That, oh, the King of Kings, the Lord of Law, the one who said that it is done, it is done. He has entered into the Holy of Holies and the curtains has been split. Let's read Matthew quickly, quickly, quickly. Matthew 27, 50 to 53. This is when Jesus hung on the cross. When he paid the price. Jesus, when he has cried again with a loud voice, yielded up his ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in two, in twain, from the top to the bottom. And the earth did quake, and the, the rocks rent, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose, and came out the grave after his resurrection, and went into the holy city, and appeared unto many. What I'm interested in here, the split curtains. Hallelujah. Amen. As soon as he gave up his ghost, and said that it was finished, the holy of holies that you and me could not go. That, you know, it takes Moses to go to Mount Moriah for 40 days and receive all this thing, all instruction that has been opened. We have that access. Hallelujah. We have that access before the Lord. The holy of holies has been, you don't need any priest to go in for you. And Paul gives us a better revelation. Hallelujah. He gives us a revelation in 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. In the Old Testament, the sanctuary, the tabernacle of God, was a shadow, was a, a thing, or it was something. But in the New Testament, we believers, we are the tabernacle, we are the temple, we are the body that carries God's Shekinah glory. Hallelujah. Oh, your amen is weak. Paul, with a revelation, tells us in 1 Corinthians 6, 19. 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Let's go there. He, he starts with what? Hallelujah. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not of your own, for ye are bought with a price, and therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which one or which are God's hallelujah your body now is where God the Holy Ghost God the Father God the Son they live in so Paul gives us this revelation that we don't have to go to the mountain to wait 40 days and 40 nights and listen to God's instruction if we will live to the instruction that God has given to us in his word. Oh, his glory will not struggle to come to you. And beloved, I come to you this afternoon. If God did not struggle to give us his only begotten son, is it your breakthrough? Is it your breakout? Is it your breakfast? Is it your financial difficulty? Is it your survival that he cannot? Is it your sickness? Is it your affliction? Oh, I'm telling you, if God gave us his son and now that we are his children and we pattern our life according to what he has instructed us he will not struggle to come to you 
he will not struggle to bless you. Is that the promotion? Is that that has become your care? God will take care of that. Hallelujah. So now that we are in this land of no limits, beloved, let us pattern our lives according to what God has cried for us. Hallelujah. Let us pattern our life according to what the Lord has given to us. The physical presence of God of God now dwells in our body. You can pray all that you want to pray. But if your life, if you are not trying to live your life according to the pattern of God, if God is telling you, be holy, for I'm holy, and you are living your life in the heart, brother, you can pray all that you can pray. But if we pattern our life according to God's way, and stand upon God's word, we live the word, we walk the word, we, we obey the word, we do everything according to the word, and stand upon the word, the breakthroughs and answers and solutions that you need, they will not struggle to come to you. Oh, they will not struggle. Before you could ask for healing, healing is already there. Before you could ask for breakthrough, breakthrough will be there. Before you could God ask for God, deal with my children, God will take care of them for you. Hallelujah. Amen. So beloved, all God wants from us is it is it Jimmy Cliff? Those of you who used to listen, you know, if you try, those 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 of you, me, I did not listen to Jimmy Cliff very well, but the, if you try, you can make it. You can get it if you really want. You can get it if you really. Let's let's clap for our, our brother. Hallelujah! Thank God for that. <laughs> 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 Robert, thank you. Yeah, the guy was maybe saying something. I mean, just try. If God sees that you are making an effort, he will also add his supernatural to it. Grace will locate you. That that you cannot do, grace will enable you and empower you to do. But if you listen to the system of this world, if you become too much holy, my sister, I'm telling you, all the men will be passing you. Who told you? At times you have to be, you have to loosen yourself a little bit. All those things are, I don't know if it's Chicago wisdom. In my country we say if it's Kumasi wisdom. If it's a second wisdom. Those are the philosophical scene of the world. But God says if you pattern your life out of the six billion people on this earth, his eyes will never be taken of you. Grace will locate you. Favor will locate you. He will send his angels in your way. Ah, what others cannot even do, grace will help you to do. If you pattern your life, they will say that, hey, you have to get in a relationship. These days they say, get to know who this woman is. Or get to know who this guy is. That's the worldly system. But thank God for the pattern that he has given to us. If we hearken on to the Lord, the Bible says that every perfect and good thing cometh from the Lord. And as you obediently patterned your life, as we have seen in the life of Moses, as we saw in the life of uh, Solomon, as we saw that when they patterned, when they did what they were instructed to do, ah, the best in the land did never pass them. The glory of God shows up. And when God favors you, men will favor you. At times, you don't even need the riches of this world. All you need is the favor of God. 
the supernatural ability of God that, that, that attracts blessings, that opens doors that cannot open, that will come to you. I pray that that will be your portion. I pray that that will be your portion. May we build our life according to the patent of God. And may we never be far from the favor that cometh from above. May we not be far from that that cometh from above to empower, to enable, uh, to help us to do the impossible. What others cannot do, you shall do. You will do it in your family. That in your neighborhood, uh, you shall stand out and you shall be the separate. That you shall be different from them in the mighty name of Jesus. All because you pattern your life according to the system of God. And grace has located you. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, we are almost close to. We are we are, we are we are we are we are closing now. Ah, there's no need even to do long prayers. I'm telling you, at times, you cannot live your life anyhow and shut up, shut up. No. God says that just pattern your life according to my instruction. And the Bible says that we are the New Testament tabernacle. These four walls that we see is just a building. But your body, because you have come to know the Lord, as the Bible says that therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. The old has passed away. All things, say, behold, all things are becoming new. You are not there yet. That's what Paul says that, oh, for all the other things, what I do is that I push them. But what one thing that I do, I know that I have not apprehended. So I push, I press towards the mark. And grace will locate you. Grace will locate you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. At times when you listen to the philosophy of this, you miss your God-given blessing. Today we are in trouble. If Abraham hmm, has listened to God and not listening to the wife. I think Sarah helped Abraham because we men we know our wives they read us more than we read ourselves. When Hagar was just moving in the house, Abraham's eyes were all over her. At that tender age. And an innocent wife. Maybe I don't know whether Sarah was just telling this is my own philosophy, it's not according to the Bible. He said, Abi, why don't you try this and see? Ha! Huh. The guy did not waste time. Of Abedu. He just went for it straight. Men, we don't know. At times our women read more than us. Hallelujah. The philosophy of this world. Some of us, God has given you beautiful wives and other things. The devil these days can sit in somewhere, somehow. People that you don't know. And they are sending things in the, uh, on the internet. It's not only the men who. Some of the women too. Hallelujah. And we buy into that system. May that not be our portion. Yeah. Some people, they can get a fine answer for you. I want to see it so that I can get an appetite. Appetite for what? Hallelujah. Somebody was going to say, oh, I'm using it to know how. You see, one of the things that God never taught Adam and Eve, but they were good at it. How to come together. Don't let anybody deceive you that taste and see. Always is fit. If all good things, if wives are gifts from the Lord, 
And if all perfect gifts come from the Lord, don't go and do otherwise. Today we are struggling in the Middle East, all because of Abraham. Could not wait. Hallelujah. But God of mercy, He had mercy on him. May God have mercy upon us. Amen. May God of Abraham. God of Jacob and God of Isaac, may he have mercy upon us. Amen. Somebody say mercy. 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 In this land of no limits. Wherever we have we, we have been, whatever we have done, may God mercy us, may grace locate us, may we do what we couldn't do. May grace empower us to do the will of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are, I pray that may grace come to you. May you be empowered to pattern your life according to the instruction that God has given to you. And you will not let that that come from above. Ah, you will go further. You will go higher. You will do mightier. You will do greater things. That that has never been done in your family, you will do. Decay will not be your portion. Ah, delay shall not be your portion. Stagnation shall not be your portion. Affliction shall not be your portion. You shall be the head, not the tail. You shall be above, not beneath. Because grace will locate you and will pattern your life according to the principle of God. Be on your feet. Of no limits. We are living our life according to the patterns of God. Now that we are in the place that God has appointed for you and me. Look, the children of Israel, he told them that I'm taking you to a promised land. In that land, there the, the are already occupants there. The, the place is occupied, but I'm giving you that land. Everything that we have needed, godly, God has already made provision for it. All we have to do is to try. Do your best. Be holy. For I am holy. Who told you that the system of this world that is passing away can sustain you? Who told you that the dollars will sustain you. The dollars are good, but the Bible says that seek ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the other things that other people are chasing and is giving them headache and heart attack, they will be added unto you. I pray that in the name of Jesus, may grace locate you, may help come to you. Ah, may you put God first. May everything that God has ordered and orchestrated for, for your life, may it come to be in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall be far from the fetch of the enemy. We shall be far from lack. We shall not beg. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Those who don't know you could know you. Because we are serving the God of God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega, the Bread of Life, the Messiah. We are serving the one who can deliver you. The one, it doesn't matter how dark your tunnel is. He can still show up and show a light in it. The one who can say that with me, all things are possible for you. The one who started you, even when your end has come, he's bumping you into something new. Oh, when we pattern our life, no more limits. Now, and the years ahead in Jesus name raise up your right hand side if I live a holy life can you help me on the road get to the right 
You shall be far from last. The enemy shall not have you. Ah, you have broken. Ah, your body cut every bondage, every limitation. Ah, you shall break in, break out, break forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, ye kata branda sanda kata 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 kata. Father, we want to thank you and bless you. We thank you, God, in this land of all oh God, no limits. In this land, oh God, that we are building our path according to your instruction. Father, we shall flourish. We shall be fruitful. We shall be secure. We shall be stabilized. And we shall be immune from all that that comes to others. Oh, we shall be shielded from the pestilence of the enemy. Because the word declares, those who dwell in the secret place of the Most High God, they shall abide under his wings. And none of the pestilence, oh God, of the enemy shall even come close to them. With their eyes, oh God, shall they see, oh God, ah, the destruction of the enemy. Father, I pray. I pray for every family here. I pray for every man here. I pray for every woman here. I pray for every child here. Father, may your show, may your shaking of glory, may your protection, may your, oh God, your provision be their portion. May they, oh God, may they be far from lack. Ah, may they be far from lack. Father, as we get in, prepare ourselves, oh God, into the year 2017, Father, may they be fortified. May they be equipped. May grace come to them. Our God to go forward. Father, in the years ahead. Father, may goodness and mercy follow them all the days of their life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes.